I'm Josh with the Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and this is our Kawasaki KLR 650 Adventure Bike Build. Uh, long awaited, you know, we did our first impressions on this exact bike, and while it's awesome to have the KLR back in pretty much the same fashion as it was, uh, the upgrades that they did are awesome, but there is a couple shortcomings that we've definitely addressed with this bike build, as well as just a lot of accessories to add creature comforts and get this thing ready for our long adventure rides. Now to jump right into it, I think the first category that's worth mentioning and it's probably the most important for me is protection for your KLR. Now a really key and most popular protection item for the KLR is crash bars. So we've got the brand new Tusk crash bars and these have been specifically designed for the 22 and newer KLRs. And these things are awesome. They mount on three different spots along the sides and up into the front on each side. And they actually come in two different pieces. So you've got the upper that goes up along the fairing and mounts up into the front. And then you've got the lower that goes down and actually protects your engine cases as well. And now you can get these both as a kit or you can get them separately. You get the uppers first and add the lowers later. You just can't get the lowers without having the uppers since they mount to each other. Now, going along with the lowers and getting some protection down underneath, We've actually got the Enduro Engineering skid plate, and this is actually a great accessory. Uh, they've done a really good job with these newer ones. Uh, they're, I mean, it's a full aluminum skid plate. It's got great protection for the front of your, your motor, and it's a really great upgrade from the plastic skid plate that comes on these. But also what's nice is a low profile magnetic drain bolt. So if you're familiar with the KLR, KLR at all, and this is something we talked about in the first impressions, is you've got that drain bolt, and it just it sticks out like a sore thumb underneath there, and it's just really susceptible to hitting rocks and logs or anything that you hit on the trail and breaking loose and breaking your cases. So the low profile drain bolt protects that. So even if you have the stock skid plate, it's gonna tuck that bolt up in there. So it's gonna be a little bit more protected. For protection up at the handlebars, we've got the Deflex Pro Adventure Hand Guards, and these give good clearance around your levers, as well as it's a great wraparound option for your bikes to not only protect your hands from the elements and the wind, but also if you do have a tip over, it's gonna protect all of your controls as well. Now, a few other things that we added for comfort and controls, and this is another one that is really popular, is some handlebar risers. So we did the 15 millimeter handlebar risers. It just kind of opens up the cockpit a lot. And I'm, I'm 6'2", so it definitely helps me when I'm standing up to feel a little bit more comfortable and feel like I have a little more control on the bike. Now, along with that as well, we did add the double take mirrors. These are one of our favorite upgrades for our adventure bikes. They vibrate less, they're more adjustable, and they're just really, really durable. So if you do have a situation where they get hit by branches or maybe you tip over, these things are basically bomb proof and they're not gonna break on you. Now, while we're up at the handlebars, I do wanna talk about a few electrical accessories that we've added that definitely add to the comfort of the machine. Um, and depending on which model of KLR you have, you may already have some of these. So like the Adventure model has a lot of these accessories we're gonna talk about. So we've actually got the base model, so we wanted to get, show you guys some options just in case you're in the same situation. So we've added our grip heaters. I think that's a must have for adventure riding. You know, you get on those cold mornings or the cold days and those things are a lifesaver. So we've got the grip heaters as well as upgraded the grips. We've got the 12 volt socket and this actually fits perfectly into the fairing and with the cutout that's already in there from the factory. And then up in front, we've actually added the Thumper Jockey Enduro 3000 lights. This is a dual light setup. Um, they're really great lights. They're a really good combination between having daylight visibility so other people can see you during the day. They are really a great complement to your stock headlight. You know, the stock, this is probably the best stock headlight we've had on a KLR yet, but these definitely help it out and give you a lot more visibility at night. And the last thing about them is that they are just a really great inexpensive option if you're looking for some additional auxiliary lighting. Now the next category we wanna talk about is the engine. So with the engine is the infamous topic of the doohickey. So like we talked about in the first impressions, they haven't upgraded the design of the doohickey for these newer KLRs. And so there still is the upgrade from Eagle Mike that is the torsion spring. Now, you know, whether you think you need to do the upgrade or not, that's kind of here or there. But for me, it's just one of those things where the torsion spring design, it's pretty, it's pretty bulletproof and the logic behind it really makes sense. And so it really just is one of those peace of mind things to just upgrade it and then you don't have to worry about it down the line. Now going along with the doohickey, we did add the Wattman Thermobob 2A kit to this. And if you're not familiar with it, basically it's a temperature coolant valve that bypasses the radiator and helps the bike war not only warm up quicker and more consistently, but also gives more consistent running temperatures, especially if you're in colder environments. Um, and then with the KLR, the 22 and newer KLR specifically, the 2A kit adds a uh, Trail Tech 
temperature gauge. So if you're familiar with the KLR, it doesn't have a temperature gauge. You can't see where you're at. It does have a sensor that'll turn red if it overheats. But with this kit, you actually get the trail tech temperature gauge. So you can just always see where you're at and know if your bike's too cold, overheating or anything like that. Now, moving on to another bigger category for the KLR, uh, that is luggage and comfort. So like I said before, we're getting this thing set up for our longer adventure ride. So we had to go with the luggage setup. And for that, we went with Tusk. So we went with the Olympus bags and the Tusk panniers. And what's nice about this kit is that you can actually get it as a kit. So you can get your pannier racks and your, your pannier bags, as well as the, the backing plates all together. So with the pannier racks, I mean, it's solid still design. These things are tried and true and they just work really well. And also you have your quick release plates so you can get your luggage on and off really easily. And then things about the Olympus bags that I really like is not only are they the premium bags from Tusk, you know, we tested these things for thousands of miles all over the country. If you watch our previous adventure rides, you're gonna see a lot of those tester bags and us just putting those things through the ringer. Um, but beyond that, they just have premium materials. You've got 80 liters of capacity through these things. You've got your dry bags on the inside but you've got the bottle holders and the accessory holders on the outsides. So on the back, you've got a roll top closure. So that's really good for the stuff that you maybe want to try and keep a little bit cleaner. Now moving up, another one of my key accessories is a tank bag. So uh, if you're anything like me, your tank bag can get really, really messy really quick. And so I actually really like this Tusk one because it's really well designed with dividers. You've got elastic spots for all your chapstick, your knife, you know, anything that you want in your, in your tank bag, as well as your charging accessories. And it's just really well designed and purpose built from the tank bag. Probably the next thing I want to talk about is comfort. So I think the biggest thing for comfort that we've added to this is the seat concepts, foam and seat cover. Not only does this give a really good look, uh, it's a really good cover, it's really durable, and it just, I mean, the carbon accents on this thing look awesome, but the foam is upgraded and it's also reshaped. So the stock, I think the stock KLR seat for these new ones is pretty good, but this is still a great upgrade. It's skinnier up in front, and then it's also wider in the back, so you can just hammer down miles and basically adjust where you need it to on the seat to have the most comfort. Now, a few more accessories in that comfort category, and this is something I talked about a lot in the first impressions video, is the foot pegs. So not only do we get rid of the rubber foot pegs, we got rid of the rubber mounting for the foot pegs. So we went with the billet race pegs. Um, these are awesome. They give you a wider platform. They also give you really good grip. And then we also went with the hard mounted foot peg mounts underneath from Tusk. So basically this is like a, it's a washer and bolt set that gets rid of the rubber mounting and so that your, your pegs don't flex anymore. And for guys like me where we're, we're going off road and you want a really solid feel on your foot pegs, this is like a must have. You know, if you're doing more commuting and you like the rubber mounting, then, you know, obviously go ahead and go that way. But that's just something that we wanted, that really solid foot plant. Now, other things along with that is we've gone with the new shift lever. Again, if you know the KLR, the shift lever is just really, really close to that foot peg. And so we've gone with the IMS one and it does extend out a little bit to give you a little bit more clearance to fit your boot underneath and make it easier to shift. Now, another category that I think is really critical that we talked a lot about in the first impressions, and that is tires. So we've upgraded from the stock tires, which those are okay for like gravel roads and pavement, but we wanted something a little bit more aggressive to give a little more confidence in the off-road terrain. So we've gone with the D-Sport tires. These are a great aggressive adventure tire. They last really long. I really like that they just give me a lot more confidence in turns, especially in the gravelly, marbly roads. And then if we get into any gnarly off-road stuff, I don't have to worry as much, especially with like braking and acceleration. Um, along with the tires, we've actually added rim locks to both the front and rear wheels. This just helps out with making sure that, you know, you don't end up slipping the bead at all. And then while we were at it, we did add heavy duty tubes to the tires. Now I've got a few more accessories to kind of finish this thing up that add to not only your protection as well as some convenience. So the first is a fender eliminator kit. So if you've seen that stock fender, there's just a lot of plastic, there's a lot of stuff going on, and you don't want that license plate to get, potentially get sucked up into the wheel, which we've seen in the past. And so with this fender eliminator kit, it brings your license plate up, it tightens up your blinkers, your tail light, and it's just a really sleek design to kind of add a new look to your machine, and as well as keep that license plate from getting sucked up into the wheel. Now the last accessory I'll talk about, and this is just a little bit of a nice to have, and it's a little bit of protection as well for your tank, and that is these Attack Graphics decals. So uh, you can get these in two different configurations. You can get them textured or with clear, um, and then you can also get them with just the knee pads or just the tank pad. 
um, for the top or you can get them all together. And really the intention with these is that they're just gonna protect the paint on your tank. Um, they give you a little bit of a texture material and they're gonna protect the top, especially if you run a tank bag. The top decal is really great because it protects just from the rubbing and from rubbing the paint off the top as you're on your adventure rides. All right guys, and that is it. That is the Kawasaki KLR 650 bike build. And you know, love it or hate it, we're happy to have the KLR back. It's been fun to outfit this thing with parts. We're looking forward to getting some miles on this thing and really put it through its paces. And I wanna hear from you guys though. Is there anything that we missed that you think is an essential part of a KLR bike build? Is there anything that you've put on your machine that you think that people should hear about? Let's get it going in the comments below and I wanna hear from you guys. Now, if you have any questions about any of the parts and accessories that we've added today, make sure and comment those down below. Also, if you wanna find any of the parts we've added, make sure to go to RockyMountainATVMC.com or you can hit the link down below. And thanks for following along with me. I'm Josh, and we'll see you next time.